Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. Hope everyone is well out there in the crazy world that we live in, but today let's talk about a keyboard. Now, uh, I had previously owned this keyboard. It is the RK84. Probably a lot of you out there may, but some of you may not. Uh, my previous version, I actually gave it to a friend. He fell in love with it um, after I had modded it. Uh, they are much better priced now. And from what I understand, this is a new revision. Now, this was sent out to me by the company. They reached out to me and they said, we like your videos. Could you do a review on this one? And I was like, I was going to say, wait a minute, I already, and I had forgotten that I'd already given my RK84 away. So it's kind of, it, it's, it's new to me. I mean, it's a new revision. So I'm going to be doing just an opening, a box opening, doing a quick review and sound test of it. But then I'm going to actually, because the other one, I never recorded um, the modifications to it. Um, and it was when I was still learning. So I wasn't really ready. I don't think I even had my channel at the time. But this one, I want to just, I'm just coming at it and approaching it as if I've never used it before. Let's try that. Anyway, if you haven't, heard or use the rk84 it's an 84 percent hot swappable keyboard uh, it does come in blue light and rgb led um it is also wireless but let's go ahead and open her up instead of me just talking about it so oh and as always yes they did send this to me but all my opinions are my own um i i won't work with companies that expect me to you know say anything other than how I feel. Uh, I'm a consumer and I'm on the side of consumers. I respect companies that treat consumers well, but if a company doesn't, I'm gonna speak out. That's just how I am, I'm gonna be honest. So we've got, I, I don't believe there was a manual in my previous one. I think it was just a foldy sheet. Um, but we do have a storage spot. We have the on and off switch for 2.4. looks like we have a storage spot. I believe the last one did as well. I've, use many keyboards so sometimes in my head they start mixing up um i have the bluetooth or the 2.4 connection uh this one when you're wired does have ports does it oh. yeah i believe mine didn't if i'm not mistaken and had the cutouts but they were covered they hadn't been opened up but this one does actually um have the usb-c and this actually acts as now Personally, especially if I'm on the road working with my laptop, um, being able to plug in the uh, dongle for the mouse here, because I like to use a wireless mouse. Um, it's funny, I, I prefer to use the keyboard wired, but the mouse, I like wireless, but I guess obviously because that's that's moving all around a lot more than the keyboard is. Let's just look what we've got in the box. We've got a, a, a plain, a simple white, at least it matches, um, USB-A to USB-C cable with a little Velcro strap. We've got, I'd say these are the decent switch pullers. I mean, some of them are a little weaker. This one's one of the stronger ones, so it's not going to bend out of shape too easy. So we got a good cap and switch puller. And, oh, look. Yeah, that's right. This one also has the magnetic feet like the um, like this one. They have a few models. This is the RK71. And I don't know where it went. But it's basically kind of like a bigger version of this, except it doesn't have the, uh, the side lights, but it has these magnetic feet, which, don't get me wrong, they're great, but if you lose one, <laughs> but obviously you can just run along the floor with a magnet, you should be able to find it. Anyway, so we've got the magnetic feet for the different angles. Um, I know some people aren't the biggest fans of feet, and I, I can't blame you, so being able to actually say hey i want you know a little bit higher of an angle you know because everybody's situation where you're where you uh, the height of your chair the height of your desk um a lot of different things come into play and even going from one desk to the other you need to change the angle of your keyboard but uh being able to do this without having the flip down feet um is uh quite useful and they do work well 
actually like the natural angle. I'm one to usually flip up the feet if I'm using a flat table, but my primary workstation uses a desk drawer that has like a built-in wrist rest at the um, base of it. So I put it at a certain angle and as long as the keyboard is flat, I mean, sometimes I have to adjust the angle of the drawer, but I can adjust it. I think I have about 30 degrees um, total, like 15 each way. So it gives me a good amount of adjustment. So I hardly use the feet. I just adjust to what it is flat. But when I'm on a flat surface, I usually prefer the feet up. But this has this is right enough at the angle that I'll be okay with. So anyway, I, yeah. I did get browns. I believe, yeah, there was some extra switches in there. Um, that's always nice. Royal Kludge does always do, do, they always include a couple extra switches. I think all manufacturers really should. Um, especially, you know, it's, it's a hot swap board. More than likely, you know, even if you're just going to stick with it, you're going to, you know, you might want to lube the switches and, you know, sometimes things happen. Oops, I closed it the wrong way and the leaf spring got folded. Now it doesn't work. Having an extra switch makes life nice. So go ahead and pull up. Oh, I if I if I'm not mistaken, the one that I had before was either um, green or blue. But here we can see a black PCB. Um, hmm. So this is definitely a new revision. I do remember that that my the one that I used to have. Um, I want to say it was blue. I want to say the color of it was blue. Now I have this RK71, I believe is older. I'm just curious. Yeah, yep, that was it. It looked almost exactly like that, that blue. That was basically what my old RK84. So so basically this is a new keyboard for me, huh? No, wait a minute. I got two switches in my hand. Oh, this one goes here, because it's already lubed. Uh, so I am I'm actually uh, curious to get in here and see uh, what it's what it's gonna be like now it's got a little bit of weight uh, because of the battery in it but it's it's still not heavy um, it just doesn't feel cheap because of that little bit of weight I do love that it has the um, the 2.4 dongle and I believe yeah there's a magnet inside of there it does a pretty good job I dealt with another keyboard the other day but the tiniest little hit not even that hard and that dongle would just flip over the magnet was tiny like I mean get just a little bit bigger of a diameter but I think this one they're actually not only using oh no this not using the case to wedge it it's literally just sitting in there by the magnet so that's a strong magnet good job RK um, I believe the last one had like a little wedge too, so maybe they just adjusted that. Anyway, let's take a look real quick at the stabilizers. I don't recall on my original one if they came lubed or not, so I can't I can't say either way. But let's see if we have. So we have white stabilizers and they are, they are lubed, lightly lubed. Um, oh, and they're quite, okay. Now that I, rem I do remember the stabilizers were black and they were very loose. I mean, these are, th these don't need tape. They're on there, good. And uh, they might need some lubrication, but they're not going to need any tape plate. At least that stabilizer. I'm, I'm honestly, I gotta say, I'm impressed. This, when they said this, this was a new revision, they weren't kidding. Um, yeah, I'm almost tempted to get into it today, but right now I've only got the time to just do an out of the box. So let's see. I don't recall padding being there, but I can't, I can't say for sure. But 
these stabilizers are the tolerances on this are very good because there's hardly any 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 way to move i mean so they're on the plate good that makes that's uh, one of the most important things i mean if stabilizers aren't stable well they're they're, they're going to be noisy so i am actually quite impressed with that i've got to say I've got to say, when they said they made a new revision, and not only that, they made a new revision, but it's actually cheaper than what it used to sell for. Um, I believe it MSRP's for 69, 60, 64, 69. But I know when I got it, I paid more. I don't recall how much more, but it was more. It was closer to 100. So anyway, let me go. I go ahead and put these switches in, and. Uh, Let's plug her up and see what kind of, uh, what the lights look like on this new PCB. So the, the lights seem to be about the same brightness. They're, they're pretty, pretty decently bright. Um, obviously on here we have the brightness, the speed of the effects, and changing the effects. The previous one I had uh, was a black one. I'm actually liking this one in white. Oh yeah, that's one thing I wanted to check with the keys. I don't have, but I'm gonna assume they were they're probably about the same width. So zero this out. One millimeter. So they're right at the uh, for me tolerable level. I know some people are like they gotta be 1.5. To me, as long as they're one, they're usable. When they're less than, when they're you know a certain tenth. <laughs> five tenths of a millimeter no those things they can bend i know a lot of folks are like well the keycaps and this and this and that every little component in your keyboard helps make the sound so it's not like so i sometimes hear people saying well i got those switches but my keyboard doesn't sound like yours does well they modded it differently it's different material it's different keycaps different plate every single thing and even the environment that you're in I mean, that doesn't have as big of a, but everything has an effect on how your keyboard's going to sound. So, um, people just have to remember that. I mean, and I think people need to focus more on what they like instead of trying to reach thock. Like, some people just like, well, my keyboard doesn't thock, so it's just no good. It's like, well, I mean, do you enjoy using it? I mean, it, it, there, I don't know, I think... Some people just have some unrealistic expectations out of some keyboards. But that said, I personally and many people I have seen have <laughs> made some budget keyboards sound just as good as keyboards that cost 10 times their amount. Um, so it can be done. Anyway, I, I, I like it. It's more classy in white. I'm definitely going to modify this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a sound test of it stock. Uh, once I modify it, I'll probably do a sound test with the switches uh, lubricated, but then switch them out for some better uh, switches. And I actually I have a key cam set in mind that I think is going to make this, this really shine. But like I said, to me, this uh, TKLs, I, I don't want to say I have a favorite layout, but I use TKLs primarily as my dailies. I can use 65% for work. I'm trying to get to the point. I can use 40% for like writing emails and browsing, stuff like that. Um, and I can work on them, but it's just I'm slower. Um, a 60% same thing. 65% you know, though is, is, is like the lowest I'll go if I'm really gonna be you know spending a day's worth of work. Um, but sometimes I can work on a, on a full size. I only have a few of them and I rarely use them because I have a good amount of macro pads so this is to me one of those perfect keyboards to use with a macro pad if you don't want a tkl because a tkl does i mean it's going to take up you know oh, what i just oh here's a tkl so a tkl is going to take up more space because you know there's a lot of uh, empty space there but you basically have you basically have all the buttons that a TKL has on an 80%. Now, some people be like, but they're, you know, the arrow keys aren't exploded and the, you know, these aren't exploded. It doesn't take that long, at least for me, to get used to, to a new layout. Um, but I can work on these. 
it will take me, like I said, maybe a day. I mean, it's not like I'm completely unproductive for a day. It just, I have to look and I, okay. And then I remember that key is there, that key is there. Now, I have not seen Royal Clutch software in a while, but it's, you know, like most of the other ones, um, it did not have per key RGB, so I'm not expecting this one to have it, but obviously you can control the effects and uh, you can reprogram all the keys but the function key. Uh, so, and I believe you can make the caps lock key modifier if i i believe I, I could be mistaken on that one but anyway you have all the functionality that you'd have in the tkl yes you use, you do need to use function to access some of that but you got your print screen you got your insert you got your screen lock you got your delete you know home end page up page down so you have everything that you need right here um i use print screen and i use insert a lot um I like Midnight Commander in the CLI and insert as select. So um, anyway, there's a lot of different keys I use differently, but this this has all the keys and I didn't mean to go on a rant, but this is a, to me, this is a favorable layout, especially if you're space um, constraint because you're still going to have the power of a TKL. And if you do add a macro pad, let's say this is the, the Arduino, the uh, Add a fruit, the add a fruit uh, raspberry pie one. Um, now, obviously, this one's a little bit smaller, but it is cute as hell. Um, so even with a macro pen, you've still only got the footprint of a TKL, and you've got full functionality because some of us, when we're doing data input, we, we just need the mac. I mean, we need the numpad. Now, I know. I mean, this one obviously is a little bit smaller, and it doesn't have the big. You know, zero yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just giving an example. There are other ma macro pads out there. I've actually been tempted uh, to get the Fecker. Having a separate numpad, and especially if you're Southpaw, because, you know, you can easily just flip it over and put it on the other side. I mean, just, it's useful, right? So anyway, I'm, thus far, I'm, I'm quite surprised and I'm excited for the new revision of a trusty board. Um, yeah, I haven't had an RK fail. Uh, and I've made, I, I don't know how many, but a few um, RK boards for friends and boards that they liked and they just took. Well, not just took, I gave to them, but they wanted them so much. So I just kind of gave them to them. But anyway, um, RK has always been reliable. Um, they're not pulling any games like another company. You might know that I'm talking about, but this is definitely a new revision. There seems to be some better stabilizers. Uh, the PCB is probably a little bit better. It's black. It looks newer. It's definitely a new revision. Um, I'm going to check when I come back for modifying it because I've already got some good plans for modifying this keyboard. I want to make it sing, and I'm pretty sure that I can. And uh, I think it'll be a, a fun experience and also find out anything else on the interior that may have changed. Who knows? Um, but so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and just leave you guys with a stock sound test of this RK84 new revision. I don't know what number of revision. Who knows how many times they've revised it, but the latest revision. Um, and we'll see what it sounds like. And in the near future, we'll be coming back to it to modify it. If there's any specific things you want me to take a look at when I come back to this keyboard just let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to get to it in the next video until then keep calm keyboard on